chief wild skate flipper at the Rogue Wild Skate Company. A wild skate is a cake traditionally made in Wales using specifically half fat to flour. So it's a beautiful, light, fluffy, gorgeous, fatty cake. And um, traditionally, it has raisins in there. Growing up in a household full of people who didn't really like raisins, we decided we'd like to mess around with that as much as possible. Um, hence, we are the Royal Welsh Cake Company. My mum always made different flavour Welsh cakes. Coconut and mixed spice was like her her go-to flavour. And people would come round and be like, what are, what are they? Like, they look like Welsh cakes, but they're not, they don't look quite like Welsh cakes. And they'd try them and be like, oh my God, this is what a Welsh cake can taste like. And it just kind of made us realise that like, the Welsh cake's a little bit forgotten about. And it, it will be forgotten about if people just stick to their guns and we're just like, nah, we, we, we don't want the Welsh cake to die. We want the Welsh cake to thrive and come into the, into the future with us. We are super particular about the ingredients that go in, yeah. We don't mess around with any like bad ingredients, you know. We always use nice chocolate, we always use nice eggs, we always use stuff like that. And then it's cooked in the traditional way, on a baked stone, one side, the other side, done. Serve it warm, wait for it to cool down, however you want to do it. Obviously warm is always the best, it's still lush and gooey and gorgeous in the middle. Combined, all those things make a big difference. And obviously it's in the technique as well, it's in the handmaking technique, you know? Which is a secret. <laughs> we have lots of different ingredients in our Welsh cakes. So we make uh, cheese and leek, sun-dried tomato and feta. We make chocolate and salted caramel, chocolate orange. Basically anything you can think of, we try and put it in a Welsh cake and make it. But other than that, peanut butter and jam is a good one that sells a lot. It's our vegan one as well, so you know, power to the vegans. We never leave a vegan behind, that's our motto. They're a vicious group, we don't want them coming after you. <laughs> I was already at a market selling another business and we just decided that the food on show and the food that was being sold to the market just wasn't really good enough and it wasn't inventive enough. And we were like, we can do better than this and we can bring something to the food world, especially the Welsh food world, which you have to admit, it can be quite limited sometimes. And then the Rogue Welsh Cake Company came to life. Because we don't do the traditional Welsh cakes, I do wear the traditional Welsh dress when at the markets. Mostly because it's a laugh and I love fancy dress, but it does inspire a little bit of that Welsh pride and that kind of like, yeah, just being proud to be a part of something that is maybe a thousand years old, you know? And keeping that alive while at the same time bringing the future into it as well. If we do a nice busy weekend, it's about 1,500 Welsh cakes, which is really nice and feels really good to do. I have every generation alive working on the Royal Cross Cake Company at the moment. We have my grandma, gra or grams we call her, even though we do our measurements in pounds and ounces, who comes and sells at markets for me. So I make all the Welsh cakes. Sometimes if I'm a little bit overthrown, um, my mum does make a few. So to like kind of cover as much ground as we can, we kind of use all the all the members of the family that are around and available to do it. So it's, it's, it's a generational thing. And my two sons, uh, Artie and Rue, as soon as they're old enough to hold a rolling pin, I'm sure they'll be helping out. They're great for Instagram content as well. So I guess there's four generations in there. So, <laughs> so yeah, there's everyone involved. It's a, it's a proper all round family, family business in that sense. Tradition is alive is about keeping the younger generations interested, isn't it? If the younger generations aren't interested, then traditions do die out. So they might not be in the traditional Welsh cake that their grandparents ate or their great grandparents ate with just the plain raisins in there, but they'll be in Welsh cakes all the same. So I feel like we are keeping the tradition alive by changing it. But you can if you like.